A new function, Check Tool Reach, is now available for Mastercam 2021. Use Check Tool Reach to check your tool and holder against the selected model geometry to view where the tool can and cannot reach. The selected model geometry is then colored based on the selected preview options Reachable, Unreachable Tool, and Unreachable Holder. You do not need to select a toolpath operation before launching Check Tool Reach. Check Tool Reach is available on the Mill Toolpaths contextual tab. The Skip Pockets Smaller Than option is now available for 2D Dynamic Mill. Additionally, for Dynamic Mill and Dynamic OptiRough, there is a new option to skip all pockets. These options are located on the Toolpath Control page for Dynamic OptiRough and the Entry Motion page for Dynamic Mill. Smaller Than allows you to skip pockets based on the entered tool diameter percentage or a minimum pocket size. When you enter a value for either the tool diameter percentage on the left or for the minimum pocket size on the right, the other parameter updates. Skip All skips all pockets. The Toolpath Hole Definition Function panel includes two enhancements. On the Selection tab, a summary of all edited change at point parameters are now conveniently displayed on a tooltip in the Features list. The Advanced tab now features the Allow Multiple Solid Bodies option. This option recognizes same-sized holes across multiple bodies when selecting with Control Click. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, Mastercam 2021 features a new tool path, Advanced Drill. Advanced Drill is a customizable multi-segment drill cycle that is useful for spot drilling, deep hole drilling, and back spot facing. Each segment of the drill cycle can be defined in a table on the tool path's Cut Parameters page. For each segment, you can customize any or all of the following conditions. Define individual pecs within the segment, including retracts to simulate a chip break cycle. Set the feed rate or choose rapid motion. Change the spindle speed and direction. Turn coolant options on or off. Add manual entry comments or code. Fine tune the order in which the commands are output. Like other drill operations, you can use the tool axis control page to choose three, four, or five axis output. Choosing 4-axis or 5-axis output gives you access to additional multi-axis features like Safety Zone. Advanced Drill is located in the 2D gallery on the Mill Toolpaths contextual tab. Mastercam 2021 features a new toolpath, Chamfer Drill. Using tools with a tip angle, the chamfer drill toolpath chamfers holes after calculating the correct depth based on the desired width or depth. The chamfer drill toolpath also lets you select holes of different diameters or sizes or that lie in different planes and machine them in a single operation with a single tool. You can use any tool with a tapered tip, not just a drill. Like other drill operations, you can use the Tool Axis Control page to choose 3, 4, or 5-axis output. Choosing 4-axis or 5-axis output gives you access to additional multi-axis features like Safety Zone. To create the toolpath, select Chamfer Drill in the Hole Making section of the 2D Mill Toolpaths. Then in the Graphics window, select the entities you want to add to the Features list. Use the following methods to make and manipulate your selections. Click or use Window Selection to choose solid holes, solid arc edges, wireframe arcs, lines, points, or auto cursor positions. Control and click to select all matching radius solid features. Control, Shift and click to select all matching radius solid features on the same vector as the initial selection. Click a selected solid features arrow to change direction.
For more consistency between toolpath options, an end at center option has been added to the transitions page of the circle mill toolpath and the cut parameters page of the helix bore toolpath. You can now choose both start at center and end at center in these toolpaths. Start at center begins the toolpath at the center of each selected entity. Once that entity has been machined, the toolpath moves to the next entity. End at center ends the toolpath at the center of each selected entity. Once that entity has been machined, the toolpath moves to the next entity. When using the auto drill toolpath to create operations for tapped holes, Mastercam chooses the tap size based on the diameter of the selected arcs. This can be a problem when the geometry is based on the minor diameter of a tapped hole. Now when you select only arcs, Mastercam displays the override geometry diameter parameter in place of the create arcs on selected points on the tool parameters tab. Mastercam uses the existing hole diameter unless you select the override option. If any wireframe points are selected, the create arcs on selected points parameter displays and the user enter diameter associated with that field defines the hole diameter. Because Mastercam automatically calculates fields like thread pitch, manual changes to such fields can be overwritten whenever Mastercam is called to recalculate these values. You can now lock number of active teeth and thread pitch to ensure that Mastercam does not recalculate these values. Click the lock icons to toggle their status. Locked fields cannot be edited. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2020, A new page, Corner Pretreatment, has been added to the Dynamic Mill Toolpath. Use the options on this page to set machining parameters on any corners in the selected machining regions before machining the rest of the part. These new options are particularly helpful if you have sharp corners in your part. Additionally, this can reduce the amount of thin wall islands that are created when machining. A new option, Roll In, has been added to the Cut Parameters page for face toolpaths. Roll In adds an arc move with the entered radius to the lead move in. This move is always opposite the step over direction. This option is particularly helpful with tool engagement, resulting in less tool stress. A new option has been added to the Lead In Out page for 2D toolpaths. This new button lets you swap the parameter values for the entry or exit sections without losing information. Two new options are available on the Linking Parameters page for all 2D toolpaths. The Arc Fit Maximum Radius option attempts to fit 90 degree arc moves into rapid and clearance moves. If the entered radius does not fit, then the output is created as a 180 degree arc. Use the Output Feed Move option to output the rapid move between passes as a feed rate move instead of a rapid move. This may be helpful when the tool needs to make many irregular moves per pass to jump between different areas of the part. This option is also useful for older machines which create dogleg moves for rapids. The 2D Contour Toolpath now includes the following enhancements. A new option, Applies All Finish Passes on the Multi-Passes page, applies spring passes after the last finish pass for each defined depth set by the finish passes parameter. When deselected, spring passes are only applied after the last finish pass at the final depth. Another new option on the multi-passes page, machine spring passes after finishing all contours allows you to perform spring passes after all finishing cuts and depth cuts have been completed. Profile Ramp is a new option in the line dropdown on the Lead In Out page for 2D contour toolpaths. 
When you select this option, you can only modify the ramp angle value. Profile Ramp uses a continuous ramp to transition smoothly between lead-in and lead-out moves. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure The 3D High Speed Blend Toolpath now includes the following enhancements. The 3D option in the Project dropdown on the Cut Parameters page is now available. When selected, Mastercam keeps the created passes equidistant in 3D, adding cuts to steep areas. The new Number of Passes checkbox located on the Cut Parameters page lets you set the exact number of cutting passes. The new Flip Step Over checkbox located on the Cut Parameters page reverses the cutting direction of the Blend Toolpath. You can now confine selected curves on the Toolpath control page to either the tool tip or tool contact point. Tool tip confines the tool center inside the selected curves. Tool contact point confines the tool contact points inside the selected curves. The tool center may run outside the selected curves, but the contact point of the tool will not. Two new methods are now available in the Cut Method dropdown on the Cut Parameters page. From Center cuts one direction, steps over to the next cut, and cuts in the opposite direction starting from the center and working its way outside while maintaining a climb cut. To Center cuts one direction, steps over to the next cut, and cuts in the opposite direction starting from the outside and working its way to the center while maintaining a climb cut. The linking parameters page for 3D toolpaths now include two new options, Apply Transitions and Extension. Apply Transitions, when selected, sets retract motions to be transition motions. The new transition motion uses the values set on the Transitions page. Apply Transitions is not available for a horizontal area, area roughing, and dynamic OptiRough toolpaths. The extension parameter extends the lead motion by the entered amount using a tangential line. You now have an option to have Mastercam automatically set different angles to maximize the length of the cut pattern and or minimize the connecting moves of a raster toolpath. This option is on the Cut Parameters page. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure to visit whatsnew.mastercam. The new 3 plus 2 automatic roughing toolpath automatically makes multi-plane three-axis toolpaths for roughing. Mastercam analyzes the stock model and then creates a roughing toolpath. Then, Mastercam calculates the remaining stock and computes a new toolpath. This continues until only a defined amount of stock remains. The results are all contained within the one toolpath. 3 plus 2 automatic roughing is located in the multi-axis gallery on the Mill Toolpaths contextual tab. The multi-axis roughing toolpath has been enhanced and renamed to multi-axis pocketing. This revised toolpath includes new options such as undercut roughing, wall finishing, and floor finishing. Multi-axis pocketing provides greater control of the tool contact point and machining angle when using accelerated finishing tools. These options ensure that you get the best possible motion from these tools. The Curve, Flow, Multi-Surface, Swarf, and Port toolpaths now have separate feed rate control options 
for entry and exit linking moves. These controls are on the entry exit page under the linking page. We have added the Extend Edge Curve option to the Morph Toolpath to give you better control over your toolpath results. By using this option, you can get a different toolpath without drawing additional geometry. The Extend Edge Curve option is on the Parameters for Surface Edge Handling page. In previous versions of Mastercam, you needed to add wireframe and use it to generate the Morph Toolpath. In Mastercam 2021, you no longer have to add wireframe. Selecting Extend Edge Curves creates the following toolpath. A new option, Adaptive Depth Step, has been added to the Cut Pattern page for the Rotary Advanced Toolpath. Adaptive Depth Step creates constant Z-cuts within the defined distance and minimum distance. Constant Depth Step creates constant Z-cuts. The Cut Pattern page now includes smoothing options. Use the Corners Percentage option to fillet the sharp corners of inner contours, specifying the radius of the fillet as a percentage of the stepover distance. The Final Contour Percentage option does the same for sharper corners of the outer contours. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure to visit whatsnew.mastercam.com.